today I'm going to be making music that I can't hear, but I'm going to be able to feel it thanks to the PlayStation 5's DualSense haptic feedback. So quickly, if you're not up to date with this controller here, they've basically just updated the vibration motors to allow for a more immersive experience. So now the vibration in these controllers acts a lot more like a subwoofer and can produce a whole range of frequencies, which can actually really help to emulate a whole bunch of different feelings, such as walking on different surfaces will give you different vibrations and stuff like that. Now, the most exciting part about this control here is that you can actually route audio from your computer right into the controller and it can play through the vibration motors, which means you can just pretty much feel anything that is playing through your computer, which means you can feel anything that is playing through Ableton, which means that you can technically make music that you cannot hear, but you can feel it. So let's go ahead and crack open Ableton and we can start making some music that we can feel. <laughs> now, because anyone watching this video can't actually feel how all of this feels, I'm gonna be using the controller's built-in microphone to record all the vibration sounds to hopefully emulate how this feels. I also let you hear the raw Ableton output as well, so I'm really sorry in advance. Now, I've gotta say, I'm actually pretty impressed with these vibration modes on this controller. You can get pretty deep. It definitely starts falling off once you get to the higher frequencies, which is a little bit of a shame. They kind of just lose their tone, but I still think it actually sounds pretty cool. Now, I also feel like you lose the sound clarity as well, so I don't actually think you can feel the difference between a saw wave and a sine wave. Well, I guess there is actually a tiny bit of a difference, but it's not too noticeable. Anyway, that should be enough of a demo. Let's go ahead and pull in a selector drum kit. Let's start finding some sounds. I'm also purposely not using any sounds that I'm familiar, which is why I've gone for one of these kits here. Otherwise, I could just guess how everything's gonna sound, but this should be <laughs> a whole lot more fun. Oh, that feels really good. That one's got a lot of thump to it. I've actually gone ahead and assigned some of the buttons on the dual sense to take care of Ableton so I can go through and cycle through the different samples by pressing triangle or X, which is actually pretty handy. Oh, that one feels like an 808 a little bit. Got a decent amount of release in there. <laughs> feels like my hand's gonna fall off. For some reason the vibrations only make me drop the controller. It's like my hand just wants to relax too much. What is that? Is it a hard style kick or something? That's really long. I've got to use that. Wow. That feels so clean. This one here is definitely the most satisfying kick drum I've felt so far. That is on another level. Not too sure how the actual sample is gonna sound. Probably garbage. But I think I gotta use that. I'll quickly go through and have a listen to a couple more. Just gotta remember, sample 25. <laughs> what is that? Is that a snare drum? That's <laughs> so weak. Oh, we got some pitch drop. I think I still prefer 25 more. Let's go back to that one. Let's move on to a snare drum. That is weak, we need some more attack. I want it to feel like I'm getting stabbed in the hand with a needle. The snares feel nowhere near as good as the kick drums did. I guess it's because the high frequencies just don't work as well as the lower ones. That feels like a kick drum. Why does it feel like there's two hits? Odd. Oh. I think I actually like this one here the most. Nice and sharp, a little bit more high pitched. I love that I'm just describing <laughs> how a controller feels. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for 12. Now let's move over onto the hi-hats. Now the hi-hats definitely feel weaker on the vibration side of things, but I think it is actually a more satisfying feel. That one there's quite strong, quite like that one. Well, that one's good. I think that might be the go-to. That one just feels like a little flick in my hand. I think we're nearly done for these drums. Maybe I'll just get an open hi-hat. Oh, these feel rough. <laughs> Why does that feel so strong? Yeah, I think I'll settle for that open hi-hat. What else do we have? Ooh. <laughs> 
No. Crashes definitely don't feel good. Ooh. I think that's the nicest feeling sound I've had so far. Wow, that, one, that one's crazy. What? That feels really good. Wow. I'm very curious as to what that sound is. That feels amazing. I think I'm definitely going to have to throw this into my beat, even though I have no idea what it's going to be. It just feels so good. Oh. Good old rim. That feels good, too. <laughs> this whole video is just me saying stuff feels good. Anyway, I think that should be it for my sounds there. Let's go ahead and start drawing in some drums. Let's try and make something that feels nice. Let's make a little rhythm with these two sounds here. What about like that? <laughs> that feels really good. And I never thought I'd say that about a song. Now, where should we put in some kicks and snares? Okay, that is not bad at all, feel-wise. Not too sure how it sounds to you. Hope it sounds good. Let's just make this loop a little bit longer. Maybe throw some hi-hats in like that and we should be good. Let's see how this feels. <laughs> that feels pretty perfect. I think this song's nearly done. I feel like if I add any more instruments, it's gonna get too overwhelming with the vibration. I won't be able to feel different elements apart. Maybe we'll try throwing one synthesizer and that could actually do it for this first little beat here. So let's try find a synth sound. Oh, here we go. We got vibrations. Wow, I can actually hear this one. Like I know vibrations and sound are just the same thing, but <laughs> This is really strong. I can actually hear different channels of reverb or delay or something like that. That one there feels pretty good. What if I just get rid of some of this reverb and delay? That feels pretty nice. Now this might be a little bit hard to tune it with my kick drum. I feel like the kick drum has a whole lot of bass. <laughs> so this might be a bit messy. I think it might be there. Let's give that a try. Let's try putting a melody. <laughs> that feels pretty good to me, I'm not gonna lie. It definitely feels more pronounced than when I've just thrown in entire songs to play through the vibration. Feels really good. Now, should I actually have a listen to what it sounds like when it's just coming straight through Ableton rather than vibrating through my hands? This is scary. It's not the worst thing. Wow, what? I was expecting that to be complete garbage. Got absolutely no idea how that happened. Huh, I just don't really know what to say. I was really expecting this to be complete garbage. Kind of disappointed that it sounds really decent. Maybe I should try another one where I actually try to do chords and stuff. I think if I use chords, stuff will start getting a little bit hard to feel. Like I think if you start bringing in multiple notes, it just starts getting a bit messy. Wait a minute, I want to quickly try something out. Let's bring in an analog and I want to see how a really short arpeggio feels. Bring this boy on over here. We'll shorten the sound down a little bit. That feels nice. Oh, square wave does be feeling kind of nice though. Maybe I'll quickly draw in a little arpeggio with this and then we'll put in a kick and snare behind it. Now let's just quickly go ahead and bring in another selector kit and we can start finding some drums that work with this sound. I think we need some more drawn out ones, not necessarily as bassy with the kick drum and stuff like that, just more <laughs> if you get me. Yeah, see, we don't want anything like this. I'm thinking more something like this. Actually got it, <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Now we just need a little bit of a snare drum. Actually, no, I'm gonna go for a clap. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> These are hard to feel. I think when any noises involved, everything just feels exactly the same. Just a little bit of a tickle. <laughs> Not much else. Oh, that one's a bit nicer. That one there feels good. I think I might stick with that. 
and we can go through and draw in a very basic drum pattern. Throw some kick drums down there, we'll throw some claps in there. Okay, that should pretty much do it for this beat here. How is this one feeling? <laughs> Bad. That feels pretty good. So anyway, let's go ahead and see what the song sounds like when you're not feeling it. Not as scared this time though, since last one was actually pretty good. <laughs> That's cool. Once again, I'm actually pretty impressed. I definitely think adding in the arpeggio made things feel a lot more interesting. It feels like there's more going on. Stuff started to get a little bit messy, but I don't think it was as messy as if I just had straight up chords in there. But either way, once again, not too disappointing. And like I said at the start, I was trying to make this feel good rather than just go with what I think would sound good. Just because I've already made songs where I couldn't actually hear anything before, I feel like trying to make something that feels good was a more interesting challenge. But anyway, I think there's actually gonna be enough messing around with the DualSense controller. My hands are kinda numb. I'm not even joking as well. I had to have the vibration turned up to the absolute max just so I could feel everything. And now, I think I kinda ruined my hands. Anyway, that was actually a really fun little experiment. It actually turned out a whole lot better than I was expecting it to. Now, a couple of years ago, I actually had this exact same video idea and I was gonna try it out with the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons because they have very similar haptic feedback, but I couldn't actually figure out how to get it to work, which is actually the complete opposite story to this controller here. This one, you just plug it in and click on a couple of different things and it just works. You don't even have to download any software or anything like that. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, anyway, I think that's actually gonna wrap it up for this video. So I'll see all of you in the next couple of days for my next upload. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.